Hi, I'm Jeff Phillips. Welcome to this episode of Inkscape for Teachers in which I'll be looking at the snapping tools. That's the top row here. Um, sometimes you might see it over the right here, but when I've got View Custom selected, it doesn't really let you customise much, it just means that the snapping tools will be on the top. Now I've got my master control switch for the snapping tools turned on here. Each one after the little vertical line is a subset switch, so this doesn't actually do anything, it controls the next four or so, uh, five snapping tools. Likewise this one controls access to these six. Now at the moment I've only got snap to cusp blades on, which are sharp corners, so if you see I move them close and a little red cross appears and the cusp nodes snap to each other. Not in the middle here, just to each other. You can see the two light, the rectangles light blue and dark blue snap to each other. If I turn on the snap to paths tool, you can see that it will snap anywhere along that path which is quite handy. Uh, this one, snap to smooth nodes, uh, I haven't got any of those at the moment so I'll leave that. Snap to midpoints, that's quite handy. If I now move this up, you can see I'm snapping it to the middle of that uh, rectangle. So they're quite useful. Notice nothing much going on in this uh, area. If I turn on the snap to object centres, and you can see object midpoint to midpoint, they both snap together. Another way of doing that is using the align and distribute tools, but uh, that's quite handy as well. The same sort of thing at the moment is snap to a rotation center. If I double, if I click a second time, you can see the rotation center is the object center. But you can drag it. I'll drag it to out here, and now I'll turn this one on, and this should snap. So if I move that there it is, it's snapped to the centre. Not something you'd want to do too often, but uh, there you go. If you want to reset the uh, rotation centre, just shift click it and it returns to the object centre. Another useful uh, set is the snap to the page borders. I find that useful if I zoom out. If I want to put a background on the whole page, rectangle tool, it's not snapping, but if I click this on, now I can snap a rectangle to the whole page border. If I make that um, light green and then selection tool and send it to the back that's quite handy for some things I'll get rid of that because it'll get in the way at the moment snap to grid is useful but uh, best to show the grid before that uh, actually is activated page grid if I zoom in and draw a rectangle if I start drawing over here, it still snaps to the nearest grid corner. If I try to finish there, it doesn't. It snaps to a grid corner, and that's useful as well. I'll turn the grids off. View page grid. And notice now, it's not snapping to the grid. Even though it's on, you have to have the grid visually there to snap to it. Snap to guides. Well, guides are obtained by dragging down a, from the ruler or across. If I now move this rectangle up here, Uh, let me give it a fill so it's a bit more obvious. Oops, red. It's not snapping anywhere near the line, but if I turn off on this, and it's snapping to the line. I find that useful. Uh, for example, when I'm creating polygons, if I click this tool here, let's say make a pentagon. It's hard to... You might want to um, get it aligned on the base, and it's hard to do that. If I click the select tool, and I can snap it to the guideline there. If I click a second time I can see the rotation centre and I drag and move that to here and then rotate and it snaps. And that's one way of getting polygons lined up as you uh, want them. I don't use these tools too much. It's snapping to the bounding box and uh, edges and corners. I mainly use these ones. So I think I'll leave it there but uh, once again thanks for watching.